BTEC Applied Science Unit 1 Biology Epithelial Tissue. What is epithelial tissue? Well, epi means outside, uh, and epithelial tissue lines any surface in contact with the external environment. Uh, it may line the outer surface of internal organs and blood vessels. Uh, and if there's an organ with a cavity, such as your stomach, then the inner surface of organs with cavities. Remember, epi means outside. Uh, there are different types, and there's two types that we need to know, uh, both of which are found in the lungs. So in the context of the lungs, there's columnar and squamous. Now, columns, columnar epithelium is in columns and squamous epithelium is squashed. So you've got columns and squashed epithelial tissue. Uh, the columnar stuff, now there's one type called ciliated columnar epithelial tissue because it has cilia and cilia are these little hairs on the top which move, they wave, they move in waves. They are found in uh, trachea and bronchi, which are your air passages. Um, they have lots of mitochondria because these cilia use up energy. And their job is to move mucus away from the lungs. Uh, the goblet cells, there are things called goblet cells, which produce mucus and then the cilia trap dust and germs and things and they move it out of your air passages. There's a lovely animation of what's going on. Can you add labels to that? Now the squamous epithelium, the squashed epithelial cells, they are flattened cells, a flat and thin with an egg-shaped nuclei, uh, very often only one cell thick, and they are good for where diffusion occurs in the lungs. Uh, for example, the, the alveoli, where oxygen diffuses in, carbon dioxide diffuses out, and this is squamous epithelial cells. We need to know about this disease, COPD chronic obstructive pulmonary disease. Okay, chronic means it's a long-term thing and it doesn't go away. Obstructive because it makes it difficult to breathe. It obstructs your breathing. Pulmonary, which affects the lungs and disease because it's a disease. Okay, now what happens is that the cilia slow down and they stop working. Now, if you think about what the, the job of the cilia are, what's going to happen if they're not doing their job? If they're not moving all this rubbish out of your airways, out of your breathing passages? So what's going to happen is that mucus builds up and the airways get clogged up with mucus. And so there's lots of coughing, cough, 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 and this tears, this ruptures the thin epithelial cells in the alveoli. So the alveoli become damaged. Less gas exchange can take place and it's a good place for pathogens to invade, invading bacteria for example. COPD. An awful lot of people suffer from this. What's the big nasty cause of COPD? Well, one of them is, you've probably guessed, it is smoking, okay? Heavy smokers, people who've smoked for many years, very, very often end up suffering from COPD. So if you look at the healthy bronchioles and alveoli, and then somebody with CVD, COPD, the bronchioles are much more narrow and they're blocked up with mucus and the alveolar walls are damaged and this is COPD. What is epithelial tissue? What are the two types? Sketch and describe their structure. 
describe the function of cilia and goblet cells. What is COPD? What does it stand for? Uh, describe the effect it has on your airways and alveoli. Be able to answer them questions.